Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the board game Godspeed. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. You are going to play 10 rounds and then the game is over. Then there is a scoring and whoever has the most points wins the game. Each round is played in four steps and I'll go through them in a moment. But again, it's 10 rounds and then you take out the scoring pad. If you have the most points, you are the winner. What you get points for, I'll explain later. First, I'll tell you how a round goes. But it's also written on this helpful sheet that you can keep with you for the whole game. And the game board itself is set up in steps. So, let's get to step one of a round. First, you put the round marker on the next number, of course. Then every round starts here, in this area. Flip over the top card of this deck, and if you want to, you can read the text. But the most important part is in the middle. This says which one of your tokens this is all about. In this case, this one. Each player has one of these. This is mine. You have to decide for yourself if you want to place your token there. That means you won't be able to use it for the rest of the round. If you don't do it, you get a negative effect for that. It's written on the card. If you do place it there, you won't get the negative effect. And if every single player places their token there, you all get a reward. That's also written on the card. So again, step one of each round is revealing the top card from this deck, and then decide if you want to put one of your tokens there for the rest of the round. If you don't, something bad happens. If everyone does it, you all get a reward. Step 2. That's here on the board. We're all on an alien planet trying to colonize it, and Earth sends us things to help. In step 2 of every round, place cards on these spaces, and each player may bid for them. Whoever bids the most gets to choose first. Whoever bids the second most gets second choice and so on. If you didn't bid, you don't get to take anything. And if you bid the most, you get to take another thing when every other bidder has taken something. How do you bid? You can take one or more of your own crew members again. These ones. You can see each one has a number on it. You can use one or more of these and you can also add these tokens or these buggies. They count as one extra point per token. So, when step two of the round starts, take something in your hand. When you're ready, hold it out. When everyone is ready, open your hand and reveal your bid. Then decide who is first place and who is second place and so on. Whatever you bid is discarded. Tokens go back into the supply and you can't use the crew member this round. And then just start taking things from here. Remember, the person who bid the most has first choice and another choice at the end when everyone else has taken what they want. You can take two things. Moving on. Going to the space right here, step 3. This is where each player gets their own turn. When it's your turn, you can take one of your own people, so one of these discs, and place them on a space where you're allowed to put them. For example, you can not place this engineer on a space that is meant for an ambassador or the other way around. 
Each one of your crew members have their own space on the board. The only one where everyone can go and where there is no limit to how many players can go there is here, the scrapyard. But when it's your turn, take one of your people and place them on the board. And when it's your turn again, you can place one last crew member. So every player gets two turns per round. Place these crew members on these spaces and just do whatever it says. I don't need to explain it, the board speaks for itself. And keep in mind you get two turns for this. The board shows you where you can put one and what it will do for you. And the last step of every round. Step 4. This is where everyone gets income. The little information sheet can, that you can keep with you tells you exactly how to do this. Your own player board shows you what you get at the end of each round. I've got this one, so that means I get this. As soon as you have one of the boards in your own player board, you get the income at the end of every round. At some point you might also have cards that say you can take something or do something during this part. But those are the four steps you do each round. Step 1. Place one of your crew members here if you want. Step 2. Flip over cards and bid on them. Step 3. Take two turns by placing one of your crew members on available spaces on the board. Step 4. Take your income. I'm going to go through them again to quickly explain a few details. Step 1. Here at the left. As I've said, you can place one of your crew members here. But this is finished when every player has decided what they want to do because you're allowed to place a crew member here and then change your mind and take it back. Step 2. When this starts, whoever has the first player token has to put it here. If no one chooses to take it, it goes back to whoever had it. Also, when you choose a card that shows resources, take those resources and discard that card here on the discard pile. Step 3. Let me explain the Ambassador. This space says that you get to take one card from a deck of your choice, one of these ones, and then you get two space buggy tokens. And then every other player can choose one resource to take. By the way, these space buggy buggies count as wild tokens. You can spend these for anything you want it to be. Alright, that is how you play the game. Just follow the board and your little info sheet. A few more general details I'd like to explain. These cards here by the round marker. This card has an objective for the first three rounds. This card has a goal for round four, five and six. And this card has an objective for the last four rounds. If you meet this objective during one of these rounds, you can place your little flag on the card and you'll get those points at the end of the game. Next, these crystals. These are milestones. As soon as you are the first player to reach one of these goals, you can take the crystal. That will also give you points at the end of the game. And finally, this track. You can go up here during the game. Cards will tell you when to do that. Only one player can be in space 12 here at the top. And whenever you land on or pass one of these spaces on these tracks, you can take one of the four resources. 
your choice. And at the end of the game, points are given based on who is where on these tracks. Done! This is Godspeed. You might see more things and wonder what they do. Don't worry, the game will show you that automatically when you play it. You'll see a card that says you can take one of these, and these will tell you what they do for you. The game speaks for itself. The words are written on the board and on the cards. And if you still get stuck, you can always check the rulebook. Same goes for scoring. That's written in the rulebook, on the scoring pad, and on the other side of this little sheet. So you can look at that for the whole game. I hope you feel like you understand this game well enough, and that you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment, and see you for the next one.